I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will explore domain and range of a piecewise function. Function given to us is h of x equals to x plus 2 when x is less than minus 2. It is equals to x square for x greater than or equal to minus 1, less than or equal to 2. And h of x is 3 for x greater than 2. So in this function, we have three different pieces joined together to form the function. A good idea is to sketch the function and then write domain and range. So let's try to sketch it first. Let's say, so I'll make a rough graph here to make you understand the steps involved. So let me just make a grid. Okay, so let's say this is one unit apart. Okay. Normally the grid will be given to you, so you don't have to really waste time like this. Okay, that's sufficient, I think. So let's begin with the first piece, which is left side of minus 2. So minus 2, minus 1, this is minus 2 for us. What we can do is, we can make a table of values. This is for the first one. So we're taking x values from minus 2 towards left. So minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, like that. And this is a straight line uh, where h of x is equal to x plus 2. So if I substitute minus 2 here, minus 2 plus 2 is 0. Minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1, and then we get minus 2 here. So the points are these, right? So, and then you could say going down, I mean, as you move left by one unit, right? So 0, minus 1, minus 2, and it continues. So that means I could draw it with a line like this and an arrow, right? Now at this point, since it is less than, we should make a circle which is not filled in, okay? So this point, the x-intercept is not included in the first piece, right? So that's what it is. Now the second piece here is x squared minus 1. So let's do it in blue ink, which starts with minus 1. These are the x values, and the function is x squared. So between minus 1 and 2, we could take values like uh, 0, 1, and 2, right? Square is positive, so we get these values. Plotting them at minus 1, and these points are included, right? So filled in circles. So at minus 1, the value is 1, so that's what it is. At 0, we get 0. At 1, it is 1. And at 2, the value is 4. 1, 2, 3, and let's say that's 4 for us all included so we can make a parabola joining these points okay so that becomes the second piece now for the third piece there's no need to make a table it says for x greater than 2 the value is 3 so it's a constant function right you see this is a constant function so from 2 onwards, this is 1, this is 2, this is minus 1, this is 1, this is minus 1. So for greater than 2, that means it is 3, but 2 is not included. So open circle here. I mean, I should have gone 1, 2, this is the open circle here, and then like this, not this one, okay? So that is 3, that is 3 for us. This one is 4, right? 2, I hope that's clear. Okay, so that is how you get your piecewise function. Once you sketch a piecewise function, it becomes kind of simpler to write domain and range, right? So now let's write down the domain. You can actually pause the video, write down your answer, and then check with mine. Now I'm going to use interval notation here. So we'll use interval notation. We'll write domain and range in interval notation. So we see that the left piece is from minus infinity 
2, 2, where 2 is not included, minus 2, right? So we could write this as uh, domain is from minus infinity to minus 2, 2 is not included. And then the second piece is from minus 1 to 2, both included. Third is from 2 to infinity. Now, so there is no break in the domain at this stage. So we could say 1 is included. So union, or sometimes you can use the word or, since minus 1 is included, we'll have that square saying included uh, to infinity, right? You can never include infinity. So that becomes the domain. How about the range? Range is from minus infinity to, so it is up to 4. Do you see that? So the maximum value is 4 for this given piecewise function. Minimum is, is extending towards minus infinity. We can write this as minus infinity to 4, where 4 is included. Is that okay? So that becomes the range for the function. Now there could be some related questions, whether the function is continuous or not. We see there is a discontinuity between minus 2 and minus 1 in this particular function, right? And there is a discontinuity, which is a jump discontinuity at 2, as the function drops from 4 to 3. Right? So there are two discontinuities in this particular piecewise function. That is to say that each piece is not kind of coupled together at the same point. That leads to discontinuities. I hope with this video you understand what a piecewise function is, how to sketch one, and how to write domain and range for the same. Now, for sketching, you could have uh, also used your knowledge about straight line, slope and intercept. X plus 2 means Y intercept of 2, slope of 1. But you should begin from X minus 2. So it's a good idea to use tables. It becomes simpler at times. So that's my suggestion. As an exercise, I like you to write domain range for this piecewise function in different notations which you've learned for example the set notation right you could have written range as as what you can say the range um, is equal to for example y belongs to real numbers so that y is less than equal to 4 is it okay so that is the set notation in which you could have written the range so in different notations you can write domain and range I prefer to write it in interval notation in this particular video. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos, write your comments, and share your questions. Thank you, and all the best.